Welcome to Revo, now your go-to channel for all things revolutionary. At Revo Now, we are passionate about exploring the innovations, breakthroughs, and game-changing ideas that are shaping the world today. Our mission is to bring you the latest and most impactful advancements in technology, science, culture, business, and beyond, all in one place. Please subscribe, like, and share our videos. Has China really been stealing US technology, or is it a narrative spun by the US government? This is a question that has stirred heated debates and discussions. The US has been vocal about its allegations against China, pointing fingers without presenting concrete evidence. It's a situation that has escalated geopolitical tensions and sent ripples through the global tech industry. But when we delve deeper, we see an unsettling lack of proof. So, we're left to question, is this a tech war or a war of words? The US-China tech war didn't just happen overnight. It has a history, a timeline that we need to understand. Let's take a journey back to the late 90s, when the seeds of this tech war were first sown. The internet was still a budding phenomenon. Technology giants like Microsoft and Intel were shaping the digital world, but a new player was emerging on the scene, China. Its rapid industrialization and hunger for technological advancement set the stage for a clash. Fast forward to the mid 2000s when allegations of intellectual property theft started cropping up. American companies claimed their tech blueprints were being stolen by Chinese counterparts. These claims, however, often lacked concrete evidence, but they fueled the fire of mistrust between the two nations. Then came the first major salvo in this tech war. In 2010, Google accused the Chinese government of cyber attacks, a claim that Beijing vehemently denied. This marked the beginning of a series of allegations and counter-allegations that would go on to define the tech war. The tension escalated in 2018, when the US government banned American companies from selling components to ZTE, a major Chinese tech firm. This was quickly followed by sanctions on Huawei, another Chinese tech giant, in 2019. These actions were justified by allegations of espionage and violation of sanctions against Iran, again, often without clear-cut evidence. But the story doesn't end there. Despite these sanctions, Chinese companies have continued to make strides in technology. The most notable of these is perhaps the breakthrough in chip technology, a significant step for China's tech industry that we'll delve into later. The latest chapter in this tech war unfolded in 2023, when the US blacklisted China's largest chipmaker, SMEC, citing national security concerns. This move has underscored the ongoing tension and competition in the tech industry between these two world powers. This timeline paints a picture of a complex and ongoing tech war. The stage is set, the players are in position, and the game continues. But remember, in war, the first casualty is often the truth. So let's keep digging and uncover the story beneath the headlines. Now let's delve deeper into the allegations themselves. At the heart of the US-China tech war, there are several specific charges that the US has levied against China. These allegations span a wide spectrum from intellectual property theft to cyber espionage, forced technology transfers, and unfair trade practices. Firstly, we have the claims of intellectual property theft. The US alleges that China has been systematically stealing American technology and innovations, but it's important to remember that the line between inspiration and theft can often be blurred. And while the US has made these claims, concrete evidence to substantiate them remains elusive. Next up is the accusation of cyber espionage. The US has claimed that China uses sophisticated cyber attacks to infiltrate American tech companies and steal their secrets. However, it's a well-known fact that cyber espionage is not a game played by one side alone. Countries around the globe engage in this digital cat-and-mouse game, and pinning it solely on China seems to be a bit of a stretch. Thirdly, there's the issue of forced technology transfers. The US accuses China of making American companies hand over their technology in exchange for access to the Chinese market. While this is a serious allegation, it's worth noting that coercive technology transfer is not a practice unique to China. Many countries employ similar strategies to protect their domestic industries. Lastly, we have the claims of unfair trade practices. The US believes that China uses underhanded tactics to gain an unfair advantage in the global tech market. But in the world of international trade, one man's unfair practice is another man's strategic advantage. And again, hard evidence to support these claims has been hard to come by. 
So what do we see when we look at these allegations? We see a series of serious charges, yes, but we also see a lack of concrete evidence to back them up. We see a narrative that seems to be more about political manoeuvring than about truth and fairness. These allegations, though serious, lack the necessary evidence to be conclusively proven. Despite the sanctions and allegations, China has made significant progress in chip technology. This progress is not just a rebuttal to the criticism leveled against them, but also a testament to their determination, resilience, and innovation. In the face of adversity, China has taken giant strides in the arena of chip technology. Their journey is one of resilience, marked by the development of advanced semiconductors, the growth of domestic tech companies, and the nurturing of an environment that fosters innovation. Semiconductors, the heart of any electronic device, have become a focal point of China's tech revolution. They have managed to develop semiconductors that are not only advanced, but also competitive in the global market. This achievement is significant, considering the complexity and precision required in semiconductor fabrication. The growth of domestic tech companies in China has been nothing short of remarkable. These companies have been pushing boundaries, making breakthroughs, and creating a ripple effect in the global tech industry. They have not only survived, but thrived, despite the sanctions and restrictions imposed on them. China's tech companies have not just been growing in size, but also in the scope of their operations and the quality of their output. They have been putting out products that are not only carable to those of their international counterparts, but in some cases even superior. The strides China has made in chip technology have not come about by chance. They have been the result of a concerted effort to nurture an environment that encourages innovation. This includes everything from fostering a culture of research and development, to investing in education and infrastructure, to creating policies that support the growth of tech companies. China's progress in chip technology also signals a shift in the global tech landscape. It shows that innovation and advancement are not the sole preserve of any one country or region. It shows that with determination, resilience and the right environment, any country can make significant strides in technology. China's progress in chip technology is a testament to their resilience and innovation. It's a story of how, despite the odds, they have managed to make significant strides in a field that is both complex and fiercely competitive. This tech war isn't just between two countries, it has global implications. Let's talk about how the US-China tech war impacts the rest of the world. This isn't some distant spat happening on the other side of the globe. It's a friction point that is reshaping the entire tech industry, from global supply chains to the future of technology itself. Picture the global tech industry as a massive interconnected web. The US and China are two of the biggest spiders in this web, and their movements send vibrations throughout the entire network. When they clash, the whole web shakes and every other spider feels the tremors. Take global supply chains, for instance. They are complex, multi-layered, and incredibly delicate. A single disruption, like a trade war or sanctions, can send shockwaves through the entire system. Companies all over the world that rely on components or software from either the US or China are caught in the crossfire. They're forced to navigate a new landscape of tariffs, restrictions and uncertainty, which can lead to delays, increased costs and a general slowdown in innovation. Beyond the immediate impact on supply chains, the US-China tech war also has profound implications for the future of the tech industry. This conflict is essentially a race for technological dominance a competition to lead the next wave of innovation. And in this race, other countries are being forced to pick sides to align their tech policies and investments with either the US or China. This could potentially lead to a bifurcation of the global tech industry, a world divided into two distinct tech ecosystems, but it's not all doom and gloom. This tech war could also drive countries and companies to diversify their supply chains, to invest in homegrown tech, and to seek new partnerships. It could spur a new wave of innovation, a reshuffling of the global tech order. The ripple effects of this tech war are felt far and wide. The global tech industry is in the midst of a seismic shift and we're all feeling the tremors. But as with any shift, there are opportunities as well as challenges. The key is to stay informed, adaptable and ready for whatever comes next. So where does this leave us? We've traversed the timeline of the US-China tech war unpacked the allegations of technology theft levied against China and delved into the lack of concrete evidence supporting these claims. 
we've uncovered the reality of China's impressive chip breakthrough, a feat achieved regardless of US sanctions. And we've explored the ripple effects this has had on the global tech industry. These allegations, as we've seen, are not backed by irrefutable proof. Rather, they seem to be part of a broader narrative, a geopolitical chess game where technology is the playing field. And while the accusations continue to fly, China has not been idle. Despite sanctions and international pressure, they've managed to make significant strides in the realm of chip technology, demonstrating a resilience and innovative spirit that cannot be understated. This breakthrough has not only propelled China forward, but also sent shockwaves through the global tech industry, prompting other countries to question their own dependency on foreign technology and sparking a worldwide race for technological self-sufficiency. In the end, it's clear that this isn't just about technology. It's about power, politics, and the future of the global tech landscape. The US-China tech war is not merely a battle of gadgets and codes, but a larger clash of ideologies and economic supremacy. And as the dust settles, the map of global technology might just look a little different. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.